Okay, so I, I have to make this video quick because uh, my girlfriend's coming over and we're gonna do some shooting. I actually just got back from finishing up a roll with my Minolta 201. Uh, I forgot, okay, what's up guys? I just got back from shooting with my Minolta SRT 201. I'm really excited to share the results that's coming soon. But when I got back from my hike I was just on, I had a package and I wanted to open it on camera because I don't actually know entirely what's in it. So this was sent to me by David C. And I know there's a film loader in here, but he said he threw something else in here. So I'm, I'm actually really excited to see what it is. Uh, I actually have to make this quick because I need it to go, or I need to go to do some shooting, but I can't wait. I didn't really uh, do Christmas when I was a kid, so I don't, I don't get to open packages. I don't get to experience the joy of opening a mystery package too much. Um, so let's see what we've got. Um, by the way, the reason he sent me this is so I can shoot with my APX-25 because someone asked me if I could do, was it him? No, I don't believe it was him, but I was asked if I could do a video on slow speed film and I thought I didn't have any, then I remembered I had this 100 foot roll and you need a film loader to load it. Now, if you're new to film photography, probably no film comes in little canisters, but you can also buy film in bulk and that's what this guy is now it's pretty cool because it's an all-metal container because this film actually expired in 1998 so when it was actually made i'm not sure uh the shelf life i think they usually get rid of it well before the expiration i know i never pay too much attention to it when i go to the camera shop <laughs> camera shop um usually if it's even near the ex expiration date they sell it for less um, but yeah, I, I imagine it comes in a plastic casing now, which long, long diatribe. I'm very good at those. <laughs> All right, so here's the first thing. It looks like it is the film loader. So I'll do a whole video on this. A lot of bubble wrap. There we go. I'll do a whole video on how to use it once I figure it out. Um, yeah, I could fully research it but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna to try to figure it out on my own because that's kind of what I enjoy about photography uh, or film photography is experimenting and figuring things out on my own. Very excited to use this. Uh, here's a shot of that. Hopefully you guys can see. Not very big. Let's see what the other guy is. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, no way. What is, no way. I'm not even familiar with this camera. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, I think this was what Rolly, check this out. Rolly Flex SL26. Now, again, I don't know too much about this camera, so I won't pretend I do, but I think this was a precursor to the Rolly 35, which I do have. Um, I think it is a lower end version. You can tell by, just a winder but it's still built quite well beautiful condition thank you thank you so much now, does this even take I don't even know if this is a 35 millimeter film camera um, it's very interesting I believe this takes a cartridge film like uh, I think it's like a 126 cartridge and that's why it's SL 26 I don't know I'm not gonna speak about something I don't know enough about but it has um, it looks like a so it's a Carl Zeiss lens Tessar 2.8 40 millimeter all right I'm gonna definitely shoot with this as soon as possible I've got to cut the video short here thanks so much David uh, this is really really generous of you I really appreciate it I will show some results with it as soon as I can. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Again, next video coming up is gonna be the Minolta SRT 201. It's gonna be a first look video. It's my first roll with it. I've shot, I think, with an SRT 201, uh, 101. I've had a few Minoltas in my collection, but I've never actually shot with this one. So it will be a first roll episode. I shot with 400 speed Tri-X. I shot it at ISO 1000. Well, the light meter was set to that. It will actually be developed as if it were closer to 1600 because I am going to develop it in Diafine. And if you're not familiar with Diafine, 
Diafine automatically pushes film up about two stops. It, it depends on the, on the actual film and they have a chart that will tell you. But I know Tri-X, I usually rate it at 1250 if I can or sometimes 1600, but it usually pushes it to about 1600. Uh, most people online seem to agree that 1250 is a good way to rate it when you're going to use Diafine. The only issue I had, and I'll repeat some of this in the video coming, is that the Minolta only goes up... Oh, actually, no. I forgot. This Minolta goes up to an ASA of 1600, so that's what I rated it at this time. So I will share that as soon as possible. Again, thank you. This is an awesome gift. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys soon. Can't wait to take another look at this camera.